I think there's several different reasons why there's companies that don't want to invest in ERP. You know, obviously one of those is the cost that it's going to take. You know, whether that's they bring in a third party or they don't bring in a third party, it's just seeing that overall cost that it's going to take. It's also, you know, from companies reading benchmarks and looking at companies that are their size and how much it's, it's cost them to actually complete the project from start to finish and the new costs that are going to occur, you know, year over year with the actual services. I think another reason why companies don't want to invest in, in new software either is because of the time that it's going to take. And also, a lot of times, companies are viewing these projects as more of an IT project. They're not viewing it as a, as a business you know, initiative as well. And we really try to, to stress that importance when going through these projects is that it's not just an IT initiative. It's also a, a business project. It's really looking at how your company is performing their processes today, you know, how maybe we can improve those or re-engineer those processes to make the overall organization more efficient or effective um, to the overall change. And it's, you know, sometimes you hear the horror stories too where companies talk about how they'll go through these projects and because they become more efficient or effective, then there's a lot of employees that maybe, you know, they don't need anymore. We really try to stress that there's other areas where you can use those other employees to be really beneficial to the organization as a whole. So I don't think it always comes down to just the cost of why companies don't invest in a new system. I think there's several different factors that can sway you know, organizations' opinions one way or another.